Hey, this is Andy Mandel and welcome to On Location, a short video series where we cover what it's like to live in all of our favorite neighborhoods that we serve here in South Florida. Today we're on location in Parkland Golf and Country Club in beautiful Parkland, Florida. Parkland Golf and Country Club is about 800 homes and 60 coach homes in one little section called Caceres. A coach home is like a one-story condo, so the way these buildings are, it's one story on the bottom, another unit right on top, just a two-story building, and they have two car garages. So there's starter homes all the way up to multi, 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 three, four, five million dollar homes here. It is a really diverse, very nice community of high-end homes. This community was developed first by WCI between 2003 and 2008. Then after the last crash, WCI went bankrupt and they sold the rest of the lots off to Toll Brothers who built the rest of the community. It's important to note that WCI had some of the Chinese drywall issues, so there are some of the homes in this neighborhood that did have Chinese drywall. By now, they've all been professionally remediated. It's just something that you should know. This neighborhood is zoned for Park Trails Elementary, West Glades Middle and Stoneman Douglas High School, which are all A-rated Parkland schools. So let's talk about the HOA. Parkland Golf and Country Club isn't like some of the country clubs over in Boca that have the really high equity buy-ins and the really high annual fees. It has all the country club amenities you could ever want, but we don't have the initial buy-in fee. So the fees are the highest in Parkland here than they are in any other community. They average between 700 and 750 a month depending on your house and, and where it is. But with that, you get a ton of amenities. You also don't have to be a golf member to join the neighborhood. Everyone gets what's called the sports membership, which just gives you access to the clubhouse and all the amenities, the gym, all that kind of stuff. But you don't have to be a golf member. If you do play golf and you do want that, the fee is about $20,000, and that gives you access to the 18-hole uh, Greg Norman-inspired golf course. It's a really, really, really nice course. That course is owned by the HOA, so it's not owned by a third-party company. A lot of the golf courses here in South Florida, because they're owned by third-party companies and land is so scarce, they're selling them off to developers and they're building houses and townhouses on them. Not in this community. This golf course is owned by the community, so nothing will ever be built on it as long as it's owned by that community. So let's talk about the amenities. Parkland Golf and Country Club has a 43,000 square foot clubhouse. It's got five resort style pools, a little water park area for the kids. It's got a ton of tennis courts. It's even got a spa. There's basketball courts. There's a gym with an aerobic studio and a yoga studio. There's everything you could ever want in here. There's also a bar and a restaurant that's available to the owners in this neighborhood. So it gives you some dining options inside the neighborhood as well. Again, it's all the country club amenities you could ever want without the high country club fees and buy-in. So if you're thinking about moving to Parkland and you have any questions about the Parkland Golf and Country Club or any of the surrounding communities here in Parkland, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We got your back when moving to South Florida. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.